Uh, shout out to Westside Love. Uh, this is Onra straight from Taiwan. Um, I started making music in um, '98 on a software just for fun, and then uh, I first bought the MPC 1000 in 2001, and that's when I really started making music. I don't really know. Someone, some, somebody recommended to me, and then I just. Uh, just tried it. I like it, so I kept on. I kept on with it. Uh, biggest inspiration would be Jay Dilla and all the '90s hip hop producers like Pete Rock or you know DITC. Uh, I mean, I dig in every country. Everywhere I go, I try to go to a record store. So I bring records from anywhere. Uh, interesting stories would be in uh, Ivory Coast, in uh, Africa, where, where my mom lives. Uh, I mean, it's no, it's nothing interesting. It's just a uh, real challenge to to find records there, and uh, um, yeah, that that would be my my greatest memory as far as crate digging would be in Africa for sure. Um, favorite record stores would be A1 in New York. Um, Academy in Brooklyn and New York, uh, and Disc Union in Tokyo. Yeah. Ch chinoiserie is just a chinoiserie is just a side project for me. It's not how I define my sound or how I define myself. Uh, I would say I take inspiration from from whatever I, I sample, so that's why it sounds very diversified because I, I mean I'm inspired by very many types of uh, many different types of music because they're they're my childhood heroes too you know you know so that I, I grew up with 90s hip-hop and R&B so it was uh, you know I, I had a small budget to to make the album so I just decided to work with Daz and I thought Do or Die and Johnny P would be a sick featuring for those for those who know it's super sick because nobody nobody thinks uh, nobody thinks about them and even when I dropped the single nobody nobody knew about them still now <laughs> it was a uh, it was at a time when I was kind of a uh, I didn't really know what to do in music and you know the trap influence everybody doing trap and 808 drums and all that stuff and I really didn't like that so I went back to my fundamentals which is which are 90s hip hop and R&B and that's why I made the album uh, the label was just about R&B funk hip hop type of shit uh, there's there's a lot of artists coming out. I'm really excited about it, and um, I just can't wait to share more more artists that I found. The first one was Fitz and Rose, which is a good friend of mine, and um, that's it. Uh, it's just um, let's see let's see where it goes. You know, I'm just I'm just doing it for fun, but I take it seriously, and we we'll see we we'll see what happens. So my advice would be to be yourself uh, you can be inspired by all other people but it's important that you do your own music that's how you can stand out because if you try to copy this guy or, this or that guy you're never gonna get to the same level so might as well do what you who you are <laughs>